Good morning, everybody. We want to take the opportunity to thank all the voters. The video that you're about to see is an update on where we're at with all the construction in our different building. This is what we call your tax dollars at work. And this is because of the bond that you passed. So we want to thank you for the amazing opportunity that you give us to provide this beautiful building space for all of our kids in the Woodburn School District. helps us better ensure the safety of our students and our staff. So people have to come in through one set of doors, buzz in before they can enter our school, before they have access to the actual school grounds, they have to see one of our employees um, check in. And with the goal of the district through these upgrades was to have all of our schools have a form of a secure vestibule. So one thing the community wanted in this space was to be able to have evening access, weekend access, so this could be a community space. That's why you see kind of a highlighted entrance there and it's ADA accessible. So that way this space can be utilized more frequently than just a library. The plan for all of the new buildings was that the central spaces like the gyms and the cafeterias would be all the same or similar size, so that way we can equalize capacity across the district. This is kind of a showpiece, so it's all the district's data center for this building, so students can use that as a learning opportunity. So everything was designed in this building to be functional, but yet provide learning opportunities for the, our students. This is going to be for hands-on, so kids will have an opportunity to build things uh, and to, to get creative. And so you'll see all, we have all the equipment that they'll have available to them to play with, Lego robotics, and you name it, right? The sky's the limit. So it's to give them an opportunity to get hands-on and to create things. And so that's something that we're moving towards to make sure that all of our schools, middle schools and high schools, have the makerspace space. That's something that we're focusing on at the high school that is going to be huge. And right now, uh, Lori Cooper, our post-secondary director, is gonna be focusing on creating what it's gonna look like in the future. We're in the rough, rough stage of the reconfiguration of softball. Well, part, part of the remodel is um, to revamp the varsity softball field, to give them a, a top-notch playing field. So, so brand new field, brand new netting, brand new dugouts. Um, it'll be a very nice facility for our young ladies. So all this is going to be, the monitors are going to be gone and a new building. Two story addition and a CTE addition right in that space. It's dedicated 100% to CTE to the high school. Where that gentleman's over there, there's going to be an inner courtyard. Where you see the cutouts in the building, we're adding windows to bring light in to the school. So we'll have a, this vestibule is going to bump out, and then it's going to be covered all the way to the new building, and then connect to ACE. We wanted something where the kids wanted to come, they wanted to work out. So I had a concept of this big open spot that had big glass doors that opened up to a turf field so people were just excited about being here a lot of pride about being here and uh, give them you know kind of the saying we always say is well why not in Woodburn so give them a top-notch facility to go with all the bond projects that our communities have supported for our schools so we have top-notch schools and now top-notch facilities for our student athletes to to train and prepare in this way you drive into this city and you feel it. 
You feel the care for the buildings. You feel the care from the community about how proud they are of their buildings. And the students feel it at the end. And that's what it's all about. So this was created to be an outside area where people could open the doors, come out and work. This is turf as well. So we just wanted an open place where uh, kids can do stations, different types of work, where coaches can really, and, and PE teachers can really mold the types of activities for the events and the needs of their students. And don't forget about our staff fitness programs too. So our wellness committee, um, this is one of their initiatives as well to provide staff fitness. So they did CrossFit in here last year. We had yoga. Um, so, you know, not only are we worried about our students and their health, but our staff and their wellness as well. Traditional fields you'll go, they used to use ground up rubber, like tires oh, and like stuff. Little black yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is a piece of paper. It's a piece of paper wrapped in uh, some plastic that'll absorb water and break down over time um, and it stays cooler. We wanted the safest product possible that we could get at the time, which this is. It's called Echotherm. It's um, engineered in a way that it is highly recyclable. The life cycle of this is about 10 years. Every couple of years we might have to come in and augment with a little bit of material. It's cooler and there's no, it's not, there's no toxicity.